and Asta Gangwar, a leading Microsoft expert who will guide us through this fascinating uh, intersection of these two uh, groundbreaking technologies. We, uh, please feel uh, free to type your questions in the chat box and we will address them in the Q&A session later on. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our webinar. So thank you. Over to you, Mumuksha. Uh, yeah, thank you, Anbuna, and thank you everyone for joining this session, uh, like today's session on the topic of quantum computing and AI. So like in today's session, we will be discussing about the technologies and how far we came across uh, the, the technologies. And uh, we will be discussing more about the majorly two technologies that is in quantum computing and artificial intelligence, how this get transformated and just uh, we are driving with this uh, uh, like this tech this technology and with the digital uh, age and innovating the driving the forces and the relation between the quantum computing and AI like how they had reshaping the technologies of uh, landscape of the technologies and give the possibility way in each the you know like each fields and industries I can say. So yeah, moving forward ahead with the introduction part. So we'll discuss uh, about uh, what is quantum computing and artificial intelligence, how it is used, and where we are on the current stage of this uh, with this technology, and where the India uh, standing uh, across the all worlds and uh, the real uh, use cases we will be seeing uh, in that. And also this session would be something like interactive. So like uh, we will be taking some of the knowledge exchange from you guys too. So like uh, let's begin with the introduction part. Moving ahead with the next step. Uh, like uh, if I speak about quantum computing and uh, artificial intelligence, then both are the different different uh, technologies because the quantum computing is the quite uh, principle of mechanic mechanics and challenging the limitations of the classical AI and computing whereas the artificial intelligence is the uh, technology where it gets uh, everything at the easy and we can develop each and everything while comparing with the uh, codes and logics uh, with this algorithm so these two operates like uh, quantum bits I can say or quantum qubits I can say like uh, quantum has the multiple uh, uh, multiple states exist and simultaneously in the exponential processes of uh, like power beyond the capabilities of classical computers. So like a on other hand AI has made the remarkable uh, strides in mimicking uh, the human intelligence and also like uh, revolutionary industries with the predictive analytics and natural uh, language processing is there. So on also in decision making capabilities also like I can see. So like in today's session, we will be understand the fundamental of quantum computing AI and the uh, like uh, how to navigate the quantum relief and intelligence algorithms with the future uh, where we can computations with the no bounds I can say uh, on this. So like this is the introduction part of the quantum computing and we'll see what is quantum computing like uh, with the uh, next uh, step like what is the quantum computing and how it is used. So moving uh, uh, ahead with the next uh, slide what is quantum computing. So like uh, quantum computing with the traditional method of the computer, your system uh, doubles each time the amount of data doubles. So this is making the challenging and the slow process of the massive, uh, mass, if we are having the massive amount of data requires the many industries such as the healthcare, engineering, data analyst are there, financial services are there. So like instead of increasing the uh, size of system, quantum computing doubles the a potential power of computer with every single qubit uh, like added into it. So the system uh, can process increasingly large amount of data 
and the real time data increases the footprints also the data footprints are there that get increases on the real time so various cases are there across the uh, industries and with the large amount of data is turning into the quantum computing to quickly address the uh, previously unsolved conditions i can say like the accuracy of the insights of uh, uh, prediction of uh, personalized medicines so that is done by the artificial intelligence but by using this artificial intelligence we have made this possible that we can do the personalized medicines also according to the person it depends on very person to person so uh, like along with the quantum computing how it get how these two gets combined technologies like uh, we had quantum computing with the new cases like the large amount of data and overcoming the healthcare challenges we have uh, on the other hand artificial intelligence so like uh, we made this is also possible like i speak about the personalized medicines uh, this this is helping in the healthcare uh, industries and other industries are also there as well those who are also getting combining these two technologies and like world is getting digitalized with very ease so like uh, this is how the quantum computing works and how we are using the quantum computing and artificial intelligence so like uh, till yet uh, do you have guys any questions so far or something like then you can drop uh, the uh, questions in the chat so like we can have the to a conversation and we'll understand what is quantum computing and artificial intelligence so like moving ahead with the next uh, step of uh, current state of quantum computing like where we are with the uh, with the other worlds where the india is standing and what all the things we faced and how we came till yet so the race of quantum computing as the hosting up and as per the media or if i can say as per the uh, like uh, we have seen that the china is quite very big allocated with the uh, uh, each and everything so in this also china is on the top and they had did the r and d and set up their five years plan current five years plan with the 10 billion usd and they are leading with other countries also like germany is there canada is there us is there and uh, more more complete uh, like more uh, countries are there like japan is also there so they are also dealing with the same amount like 2.6 1.2 billions so this is the current state uh, i can say of quantum computing they are having with the like uh, the like different countries are having but india is also like not far behind uh, that with these countries but uh, like in 2020 20 we have uh, set up the budget and like our financial minister also had to, like uh, announced the budget for 80 like 8000 crore that is uh, usd billions and over the period of the five years plan we have set it with this amount 8000 crore we have also set it for the five years plan and also on like i can say uh, on uh, 2021 30 august 2021 we have also like our indian government has launched the uh, first quantum uh, toolkit um, that is known as qsim so that will be serve as well for the educational and research tool that mainly q seems did what it what it is doing is that generating the codes uh, algorithms and mechanics regarding the quantum computing and as well we are having the artificial intelligence and we are combining both of this in making the apps and like uh, making the world digitalized with this so this is our uh, current state like uh, we are on this uh, like we are standing with the one uh, launch of the quantum computing and quantum toolkit that is using and we have also set up our five years budget plan with the other countries so moving ahead with the next slide uh, we will be seeing the use cases of the uh, like quantum computing with artificial intelligence uh, what are those so let's uh, start with the uh, another 
uh, step. So that is uh, like uh, there are the many use cases like there are the drugs, the, uh, drugs discovery and medical sciences there and uh, financial modeling and risk is there, climate and modeling is there. So there, uh, there are the many uh, use cases are there, but a uh, few of them we will be uh, like discussing uh, here today's session. Those uh, majorly we had uh, like uh, we are using nowadays. So taking up with the drugs and discovery with the material science use cases, it is like at, I already spoke to with um, personalized medicines are like uh, we have approved that approach of the personalized medicine, like also Shark Tank has also given the investment uh, in the personalized medicines. So that uh, like uh, it's an numerous uh, of amount of data we have analyzed that how people are reacting with the medical experiments. Or if I can take the biggest example of the COVID vaccination. So there has been a lot of specifications around the global uh, the heart disease rate at uh, increases due to the vaccination and uh, same for the other effects as well. Also, like uh, having the AI to understand the, those hidden patterns, which is missed by the human eye. And uh, the results are getting more accurate uh, on the point of research. On the research, we are getting the results. And uh, yeah, we are getting the accurate results on that also. And also, it eventually leads to faster drug discovery and quality drugs discovery, I can say on it. So, like, uh, benefit of quantum computing has already been seen in the healthcare, specifically like uh, personalized medicine and research and healthcare providers works to predict the healthcare risk and to determine the best treatments group individual who meets the certain characteristics into it. And... Um, with other industries are also we are getting benefited. So for that, I would uh, like to introduce uh, uh, like Asta to be there and over to you, Asta, for the next use cases to be discussed uh, on the quantum computing and AI. Yeah, thank you, Mamuksha. So like uh, we have a few more uh, use cases. Like we can move to the next yeah. slide. Yeah, in inside, uh, we can also use quam, uh, quantum computing and AI in financial modeling. Okay, so like these two technologies are involving, and with a, a potential um, like power, they they can revolutionize this uh, financial modeling and uh, risk analysis field. So how can they do that is like they can help us uh, with enhanced accuracy and uh, simple, uh, simplify the complexity of financial modeling. Uh, we can use quantum stimulations um, some uh, like uh, in during the complex financial systems like uh, market fluctuations or credit risk. Uh, these can be stimulated with a greater accuracy. Uh, but with the help of quantum computers, because com quantum computers can process large amount of data uh, using parallel processing within minutes. So they will help us and will lead to a more robust model uh, and will provide us with a better decision making uh, uh, role. Uh, we can also use uh, quantum machine learning like AI algorithm. We are already using algorithm. Uh, now we can also train on the quantum data which can be which can extract hidden patterns and relationship in financial data it will also lead to a more accurate predictions and insights um like uh, compute uh, quantum computing and ai can also be used to optimize our portfolio management suppose like uh, generally when we are um, uh, trying to di diversify our uh, portfolio. So like finding an optimal portfolio uh, allocation across a diverse asset can be like a, a expensive task. So with the help of quantum algorithm, these can be solved pretty easily and leading to a better diversification and uh, returns. So um, like we can also have AI powered trading strategies. So these are all ideas that we can think of. We can um, like do a lot of 
more than this because we are still at an initial stage of uh, use making use of both the things together um like the uh, like possibilities are endless just like uh, portfolio management we can also do uh, improved risk managements like uh, it can also help in uh, quantum risk analysis like supercomputers are there quantum computers can help us analyze that complex scenarios which a normal computer cannot which a super computer cannot uh, this including system uh, systematic risk with a greater accuracy and helping in financial institutions making better risk management decisions and uh, one of the uh, like fascinating uh, use case is also like fraud detection we can use ai algorithm to like which can be trained on a large data set and they, then they can identify fraudulent transactions with a higher accuracy and speeds reducing financial losses so this is about uh, our financial domain how can quantum computing can help in financial modeling now we, we have another use case like we can move on to the next slide um yeah in supply chain and logistics like we can use these two technologies quantum computing and ai just to optimize our network and planning um like optimizing complex transportation networks like routing scheduling and inventory allocation these can be tackled by quantum algorithm which can lead to a reduced cost and improved efficiencies we can also use uh, ai powered demand forecasting like predicting demand with more accurately um, like with con uh, with quantum and ai it will help us optimize our inventory level and reducing the waste and the stock out um, under this we can also have a better risk management uh, we can have a quantum risk modeling um which like how will it help like we will stimulate complex disruption like natural disaster or supply chain block block uh, bottleneck with the quantum computers that can help us prepare and mitigate their impact we can also have uh, ai powered ano anomaly detections like ai can uh, analyze in a real time data to identify the potential disruptions and triggers proactive measures we can also have a uh, different uh, product design and development like we can use quantum powered material stimulations like uh, designing uh, designing materials with optimal property for specific uh, logistic needs like if uh, if a container needs a lighter or a stronger build this can be achieved through quantum stimulations we can also have uh, ai driven product life cycle management like there will be no human inter interventions like ai can be optimized for the production processes predict maintenance needs and personalize products offerings based on the real time data as we get the data the ai will be able to uh, produce the correct data and insight so like we we are still like moving toward the conclusion we are still at a very like early stage both technology are, are still in their early stages they require further development and infrastructure investment like people are not aware of it like they are getting slowly aware about it so practical applications are limited by the availability of the powerful com uh, quantum computers because there are only few only very few quantum computers all around the world like we will require like challenges are there we will be facing challenges like we will require to develop like a very robust quantum algorithm and like combining these two technology effectively requires us to overcome that technical barrier that people needs to be aware about it so like that we have plethora of examples and yeah that's it and like the researchers like while the challenges remains examples are there ongoing research and development is um, going on and like we can we can see a progress in coming years right think if anybody buddy have any questions we can move on to those
हेलो आस्था सुकेश दी साइड सो हाय यस हेलो सो आई हैव सीन यू हैव एक्सप्लेन अ वेरी वेल इन अ वेरी वेल मैन बट आई हैव सम डाउट लाइक नॉट नॉट आई वांट टू आई वांट टू डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट लाइक डू यू थिंक दैट इन अपकमिंग डेज और इयर्स लाइक 5 टू 6 टू और 10 इयर्स क्वांटम कंप्यूटर विल टेक टेक ओवर आवर क्लासिक कंप्यूटर्स और आई आल्सो वांट टू yeah i and i also want to do discussion about the cost efficiency of implementing quantum computers as well as energy efficiency how much energy okay. it takes and how cost how much cost uh, it uh, will be taking if uh, anyone or any organization wants to im- implement quantum computing in the organization thank you okay so like i'll like bifurcate the questions so starting with like how for how long will it, we have to wait till we see quantum computers in our day to day lives so like uh, everyone remembers charles babbage when he invented the first computer like it in it was invented in 18 18th 1800 some around that time so from then to 2024 like the initially the progress was slow but then it take took us exponential turn firstly we had first generation i think uh, vacuum t- tubes correct correct me if like correct me if i'm wrong if i go wrong second generation i think everyone like tra- we switched to trans- uh, transistors then we switched to ic integrated circuits then uh, microprocessors came and now is uh, it is the turn of artificial intelligence and quantum computer so it is like developing generation by generation like f- you you remember that uh, cathode ray uh, monitor everyone yeah was it the, i yeah, i yeah. have worked so, on that yeah yeah so like it is it is progressing in that way but like con- to understand quantum computing we need to go in depth of quant- quantum mechanics so for a normal human being it will become uh, difficult and difficult so the in the step i uh, what i will say that how will it progress firstly like some experts will sit together and just uh, read out like make it all simpli- simplified for a normal user like the normal user does not need to go into the like how if ga- uh, and gate is working or gate is wor- working how multiple transitions are combined together and give, uh, generating our output firstly that phase will be overcome and then it will uh come into our normal life mhm and it and will uh, take the energy energy efficiency okay energy efficiency let me just think about it just give me a moment i have not uh, actually thought of it if you have any like okay, okay, no much thought, thoughts uh, on thoughts uh, on yeah. it Uh, yeah so yeah hi sukesh uh, so uh, like your question Hello. is like how we are going to implement uh, in to our organization and with the quantum computing and ai so like uh, just for the clarification we have combined two technologies quantum computing and ai so quantum computing is something uh, about the algorithm and mechanics uh, so we have combined it with the artificial intelligence to uh, like uh, become the world digitalized like uh, as you know like how the world is getting digitalized and how the technology uh, is stealing the spotlight nowadays and in bing of i we are just uh, doing each and everything with the apps and everything so like how these apps gets easier how we are uh, combining these two technologies and making the things so easily so that is uh, that is the quantum computing or if i say like uh, uh, good example of uh, quantum computing that qubits or q uh, qubit so uh, best example of the uh, qubits is that uh, the button switch button so we are just uh, turning on and off so 0 2 1 is there so we are just making that algorithm so in historical time or in the earlier time what was uh, happening we are just making that algorithm and then we are just making that switch button on and off that with this algorithm it will work but nowadays everything got uh, easy uh, like uh, we are having the sensors as well uh, nowadays and we are just uh, doing uh, the things while sitting where we are sitting so yeah we have combined these two technologies so 
these two technologies are going to impacting the world and changing the world like we cannot implement it uh, across the organization like uh, there is no such technologies coming we have just combined this and just come up, come up with this uh, topic of quantum computing and ai like how world is getting changed well, so i uh... add a little bit more into this like uh, mm -hmm. currently there is one one so uh, computer quantum computer uh, in ibm i think so like it requires a great amount of cooling system so like just to get that in our homes it will it will be a great deal it will require a lot of time because like a lot of things is there it is still in its early stage of development there are only few we can imagine that and it's a very uh, like the scaling might not be like once it comes in it will be more efficient but it will require additional resources uh, like it will enable us to um, like uh, the solar we can also have solar cells like optimizing its energy by grids and quantum uh, uh, computing clouds i think a lot of things are there integration of all of those will have some uh, cross um, like advantages and disadvantages but like coming in 10 years i think in our homes we will not be able to see the quantum computer but we can see uh, things that are using quantum computing indirectly yes thank you <clears throat> uh, yeah so anybody is having more questions or like it's an open platform to discuss this this topic quantum computing and ai or uh, if anybody is having their own perspective and opinion so like we can have this interactive session and we can discuss it i think you you should uh, you know elaborate more on the mechanism of quantum computing like qubit and uh, how the traditional computers are working in zero and one forms yeah and okay. how it is different from that so. okay so like everyone knows that uh, our computer starts like only understand zeros and one it's just a transistor which whenever a switch is on and switch switch is turned off like it's a current passing through a circuit if the current is flowing it is one if it is not flowing it is zero okay so like our computer is made up of transistors mini transistors so uh, why the need of quantum computer came on uh, it's an interesting story now you are seeing like all your devices are getting smaller and smaller like earlier we used to have very big laptops very big um, now it is getting fitted in a very tiny like 1 cm chip so here the problem arises when you reduce the size of transistors the electron that passes through that like the resistance becomes in illegible that uh, even if it is turned off it will let the electron pass through so it will provide wrong answers so like reducing the size was not the answer so we tried to look for other domains quantum computers um works on qubits uh, qubits is quantum bits quantum bits have zeros and one additionally they have a superposition superposition is like uh, zero and one at the same time like uh, to help you with imagination imagine this uh when you toss a coin and you observe the result of that tossed coin you either see zero or one like heads or tails correct yeah okay yes yes so yeah when you spin it okay when you toss it when it is in the air and it is spinning very fast do you know what is the answer do you know what it is showing mm. it is it is both mm. at the same time mm. when it is in the air correct yeah so quantum uh, qubits are like that when it is not observed it is a, it is both at the same time so it can be zero it can be one and unless 
like it can you can manipulate it to behave the way you want this is how like this position when the uh, when it is spinning at a very high speed and the answer is blurred you don't know whether it is zero or one that is known as superposition it is one of the main feature of quantum uh, computers like qubits superposition and a third one is entanglement so entanglement is yeah, it's a very romantic relationship between two uh, qubits so if one qubit if a uh, qubit is spinning correct and the other qubit is very far away but both have a uh, interlink they can know what other person is doing and they will behave the same way it's like that this is a very fascinating feature of qubits i don't know how they know the other person what they are doing it's just like telepathy it's just of uh, like the two uh, qubits are linked to each other it's like a fate if one dies the other one dies it's a very uh, like i have very uh, uh, layman uh, explained it in a very layman term so this is how uh, entanglement works so these are three properties like of quantum computers they are working on that basis and we can utilize this we can manipulate these uh, and make different uh, algorithms and models Yeah, that's it. Any anything more? I think it's enough to uh, you know understand the basic structure and all of quantum yeah. computing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So if anybody else have any queries, we can. If don't, we can end the session now. Uh, I think we are good as of now. So let's uh, wrap up the session. And thank you all for jo joining uh, this webinar, and uh, especially to Mumuksha and Asta. your engagement has made this exploration into the future of technology uh, really uh, enriching so keep the curiosity alive and stay tuned for more exciting insights until the next time so thank you all thank you very much thank you thanks, everyone thanks, for